In this tutorial, we will teach you how to design a typographic invitation card using Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by opening up a new document of 7 by 5 inches. You can keep any size for your invitation card, but for this tutorial we will be making a standard size print ready card. Since we're designing an invitation for a tea party, we will copy this basic illustration of a teacup and paste it in the document we're working on. This is so that we can get an idea of the outlines we'll be working with for the typographic poster. Now let's rename the layer to Cup and lock this layer. With that done, let's create a new layer and use the Type tool to insert the text. In the invitation card, you should start with including the host name, followed by the place where the event is going to take place. The exact date and time should also be included here. For this tutorial, we will choose Grobold for the font style. Once done, let's copy small portions of the text and roughly align them over the teacup. We want to emphasize on the event, so let's increase the size of the word Tea Party and include it on one single line, with the shape like so. Complete the rest of the text and we would have something like this at the end. This is just a rough alignment. We will use the pen tool to edit each line out according to the shape behind. For adding text on the cup handle, we will pick up the pen tool and draw over it like so. With that done, let's remove the color fill, pick up the smooth tool, and click on the newly created shape. This will smooth out the edges. With that done, let's pick up the Type to Path tool and write over the handle. With that done, let's use the Pen tool to draw the base of the cup. We will simply draw over the background shape and the basic structure is now ready. Now select the text and right click on it. From the menu, choose the Create Outline option. Now we can treat each and every letter in the text individually. Let's pick up the Direct Selection tool to alter the shape of the text according to the shape of the cup. The idea is to follow the boundaries of the shape. For example, for the letter M over here, we will make sure that the anchor points fill the background shape from the left side. All you have to do is drag the anchor points to the edges of the shape. That means the text should cover all the edges of the shape. With that done, we will move each individual letter upwards to cover the top line of the teacup. The same has to be done for all sides. For example, in the next line, let's drag the anchor points in the letter Y towards the right edge, following the circular shape of the teacup. Now the letter is a bit distorted, so let's drag the middle and left anchor point to make a proper Y. We will do the same for each and every line and each and every letter in the text. At the end, we will have something like this on the canvas. Once the type is set inside the cup shape, copy the saucer image from the cup layer and paste it on layer 2. Now we can delete the cup layer and change the color of the saucer to black. Invitation cards should also include a quote of some sort. For now, we'll simply write, join us for a cup of tea. The alignment is done the same way as we did for the teacup. Different text boxes have been used for each line. This just makes it easy to align the text according to your requirements. For the font style, we have used Gil Sans Ultra Bold and placed it parallel to the cup. You can add more details to the illustration. For example, we will copy this vector illustration of smoke and place it above the teacup. Now let's create a new layer and name it Background. With that done, let's drag this layer below the layer 2. We will be using this particular pattern over here. You can get your hands on such backgrounds by going to the many free vector stock graphic websites. Coming back to Illustrator, let's drag this background in the document we are currently working on. With that done, we will select the whole artwork and change the color to F2B981. Let's change the percentage of black to 14% and our invitation card is now ready. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.